grade sevens. I'm Helen and that means it's time for some natural sciences. Now if you'll remember we're exploring acids, bases and neutrals and the focus of our lesson today is the properties of bases. Now you'll remember in our last lesson we looked at a variety of different examples of bases or products that you might be familiar with that contain bases. So we looked at things like washing powder, cleaning products, bleach, toothpaste, baking soda or bicarbonate of soda, various different soaps and shampoos, as well as some things in our everyday lives that you don't think about being a, a particular basic chemical substance, but chalk. So what do all of these things have in common in terms of their chemical nature and how they behave chemically? So remember, when we look at properties of materials, we look at describing characteristics of the materials that are going to affect the way in which they behave when they're combined with other chemicals. So bases for our first property taste bitter. But here's the problem, you should not attempt to taste various different household bases, particularly those in cleaning products. You don't want to be going and tasting washing powder or definitely not bleach and various different oven cleaners, carpet cleaners, uh, drain cleaners. Those things are just a no-no for tasting. Sometimes you have inadvertently or by mistake, you've tasted some bases Think about the times that soap or shampoo has got in your mouth while you've been washing your hair or washing your face and you may have tasted it and it does, it has the, 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 the bitterness on your tongue that makes you want to wash your mouth out. Of course, toothpaste is a very safe base to taste and here's another safe base that you could go and touch to your tongue and it wouldn't harm you in any way. Certainly not like the cleaning products will definitely harm you. So you could take a little bit of baking soda on a teaspoon and you could put a little bit of that on your tongue and see what it tastes like. And you'll see that unlike the acids that had a sharp, sour taste, bases have a very bitter taste to them. Now, here's a little bit of a problem. If bases taste bitter and toothpaste is a base, why doesn't toothpaste taste bitter? Well, many of our substances that we use to clean things with, such as toothpaste and even products like dishwashing liquid, sometimes they have things added to them in order to bring extra cleaning power or in order to make them smell very nice or in the case of toothpaste to taste nice. You don't want to, particularly for young children, have to brush your teeth twice a day with something that tastes horrible. So additives are put into the toothpaste that are not going to harm your teeth but are certainly going to make the experience of brushing your teeth a little more happy. So mint, for example, flavoring might be put into the toothpaste to make it taste nice. We might see that some of our dishwash solutions, dishwashers, which are very basic, they're very slippery, they are bases, they have maybe lemon juice added to make them smell fresh and make you think that, ah, oh, this is a pleasant substance to use and to put my hands into to wash dishes. So sometimes some of our household products are not straight pure bases. They do have things added into them. 
our next property of bases. We know that they taste bitter, but here's the property of bases that you are probably most familiar with. We don't go around automatically eating our soap or willingly swallowing our shampoo, and we shouldn't. But we certainly often come into contact with bases on our hands, and bases always feel slippery. Now, if you remember back to acids, sometimes when we got acids on our hands, they burnt a little bit. Think about getting lemon juice on your fingers, and especially if you've got a little cut or something on your fingers, it stings. And acids tend to feel rough on our skin, but bases are very slippery. So think about how soap is slippery to the extent that when it gets wet, it can slip right out of your hands. And shampoo is slippery. Even creams that you put onto your body to moisturize your skin, they are slippery as well. Toothpaste is slippery, although it's got things added into it, like uh, into the powder, which, which makes it a little bit grainy in order to be able to scrape all of the plaque off your teeth. Baking soda, which is a very safe one to mix with a little bit of water and then feel it. And it does have a slippery feel to it. The kinds of household cleaning substances we should not touch are things like washing powder, bleach, some of the products, such as ordinary cleaner that we might spray on our surfaces in our bathrooms and our kitchen, we do touch them. But if you have been cleaning for the whole day and you have been get, keeping your hands in washing powder, doing a lot of washing, you'll find that eventually your hands start to burn. And in fact, even plain washing powder, if you get it onto your hands, it burns. So this is another interesting property of bases. They are corrosive. Now this is a property that the bases have in common with acids. Strong bases such as bleach, washing powder, different household products, drain cleaners, oven cleaners, they are also corrosive. Do you remember in our lesson on properties of acids, we said that something that is corrosive can burn or eat away at a surface. So it can burn your hands, it can burn the skin on your hands, and it can even damage your clothing or substances that it falls on if it is a very strong base. Ammonia is another base that is added to various different cleaning products, particularly oven cleaners. Now, ammonia is also, when it is very concentrated, it is very corrosive, and it also can burn your nasal passages if you sniff in the ammonia fumes. So we start to dispel a myth or the idea that some people have that acids are dangerous and bases are just fine. We understand that many acids are fine for us to touch and eat and taste, and many bases are fine for us to touch and, and use on our hands and, and put in our mouths. But when we come to strong acids and strong bases, they are both corrosive and they can cause harm. Now, here's a new term for you, alkaline. When we take a base that is a solute and in solid phase or state, and we put it into, we add water to it to create a solution, then we have what we have what we would have is a base solution. And the word that we use to describe a basic solution or a solution of a base in water is the word alkaline. So bleach, for example, is an alkaline product.
So base and alkaline are very, very similar in terms of their meanings. But alkaline most definitely is a base. It has all the properties of a base. But an alkaline substance is a liquid base or a base that is dissolved in a solution. And usually the solution, the sol solvent in that solution is water. So let's have a look at some alkaline substances that you are familiar with. The washing powder is the solid base. If we add water to it, or we put it into our washing machine or into a basin of water, then we've created an alkaline substance. As soon as we put a cleaning substance into a solution for us to spray or to spread on a countertop or inside an oven and to wipe it, we know then that we have made an alkaline solution. But that alkaline solution is in fact a base. So it's two ways of describing a basic substance. All of our liquid soaps and shampoos are alkaline substances because the base is dissolved in a liquid, very often in water, and you make your own alkaline substance when you wet the soap and you wash your hands and you make bubbles and the liquid and then you rinse off your hands. The solution that comes off your hands is an alkaline solution. Now, we don't have a term to describe an acidic solution. We just call it an acidic solution. So it's an acid and an acidic solution. But bases just want to be fancy. They want to have another word. So bases and a basic solution is called an alkaline solution. All right, the last property of bases that we're going to look at is also a property that acids had. And that is when you combine an acid with a base, they neutralize each other. And most often they will produce a neutral substance. So let's have a look at this and let's try and remember something that we learned previously about acids and bases. We learned that acids have lots of hydrogen ions in the solution and bases have lots of hydroxide ions. And we learned that hydrogen ions have a positive electrical charge and hydroxide ions have a negative electrical charge. So we can see if we put pluses and minuses together in equal amounts, we should get to a neutral substance. But of course you can see here if you have a very, very strong acid and a weak base, we might not end up with a neutral substance, but we'll end up with something that is closer to being neutral than it was previously before it was mixed together. So that property of acids and bases they have in common when they're added to each other, the product or the substance that is produced tends to be more neutral. So let's see how much you remember from today's lesson. Let's cross out words that are not associated with bases. Well, we know that bases, we said, taste bitter. Do bases taste salty? No, we have to cross that out. Are bases corrosive? Yes. Do they burn us? Well, yes, they can because they are corrosive. Are they slippery? Yes. Are bases neutral? No. Let's cross out the substances containing bases that are not safe to touch or to taste. Well, we know we have to put toothpaste in our mouth. We may not ever taste or touch bleach with our hands. Shampoo is safe for us to taste if it gets in our mouth by accident, but not by choice. And of course, sodium hydroxide is a big no-no. Now, do you think hand sanitizer is an acid or base? What does it feel like? Does it feel rough or does it feel slippery? 
your hand sanitizer is a base and it feels slippery and it has all the other characteristics of being a base. That's it for today. I hope you join me next time when we learn more about acids and bases. But for today, goodbye. Thank you.